653 time now for the morning sprint. Hattie says it's an alert day with the chance for heavy rain coming later tonight. And Eden is on the east side of Madison with more on new rules and consequences for residents planting on their properties. We start though this morning with the race for governor. Milwaukee businessman Andy Gronick tells the Associated Press he plans on announcing his run for governor sometime today. He is a political newcomer but has decades of private sector experience. He's among about a dozen Democrats considering campaigning against Governor Scott Walker, including Madison Mayor Paul Soglin. A former UW Madison student's back in court today to be arraigned on two new criminal charges. University police recommended that Alec Cook faces charges for false imprisonment and disorderly conduct after a woman says she cornered, he cornered her in a dormitory laundry room. Cook already faces 21 other charges connected to accusations from at least 10 other women who say he sexually assaulted them on campus. These allegations date back to March 2015. The man accused of stabbing his neighbor over a Minnesota Vikings yard decoration could be sentenced up to 12 years in prison today. Jacob Justice is accused of stabbing his neighbor uh, Dave Moschel seven times with a box cutter last October. Stoughton police say Moschel had confronted Justice as he was slashing his Minnesota Vikings inflatable when justice started stabbing Moshal. The city of Madison has an updated guide for planting on your lawn and terrace. Plants near driveways can't be taller than 30 inches and along the curb they can't exceed 8 inches. Raised beds and trees are also prohibited on terraces, but the city encourages homeowners to grow colorful flowers that are pollinator friendly. Noxious weeds like poison ivy must be cut because they are considered to be health hazards. And your first alert weather forecast this morning starts with areas of fog. It is improving a little bit on the west side of Madison. Visibility here around four miles. Quarter mile visibility in Mineral Point still near zero for southwestern Wisconsin. Today is an alert day with the potential for very heavy rain coming tonight across south central Wisconsin. Strong thunderstorms are possible overnight tonight. Thank you, Hattie. Federal investigators are trying to figure out what caused a military transport plane to crash in Mississippi on Monday. The refueling marine aircraft came down a soybean field north of the Mississippi State Capitol of Jackson, killing all 16 people on board. Witnesses say one of the plane's engines was on fire as it fell from the sky. Donald Trump Jr.'s attorney says he did nothing wrong when he met with a Russian lawyer who claimed to have damaging information on his father's opponent in the presidential election. The president's oldest son admitted to this meeting last summer with that lawyer who claimed to have damaging evidence against Hillary Clinton. Now Republican and Democratic members of the Senate Intelligence Committee are asking to speak with Trump Jr. about that meeting. An Army soldier based out of Hawaii faces terrorism charges this morning after telling an undercover agent he wanted to, quote, kill a bunch of people. The FBI arrested Ikaika Kang after more than a year of investigation. The 34-year-old Sergeant First Class also reportedly had pledged his loyalty to ISIS. Within the last hour, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson sat down with leaders in Qatar last month. Four Arab countries cut ties with that nation, saying that it funds terrorism. Tillerson says he does not expect a breakthrough on this trip, but is exploring options to end the division and start negotiations in that region. The New York police officer who was shot and killed while in her car last week is going to be buried today. 48-year-old Mio Sotis Familia was shot in the head by a man who simply walked up to her police cruiser. She was parked after midnight while on duty in the Bronx. NYPD leaders have called that killing an assassination. The suspect was shot and killed in a confrontation with other officers later that night. 6.56 your time right now. Let's take one more look at traffic with Josh Tim this morning. Hey, Josh. Good morning. Well, a crash in Dodge County near Beaver Dam earlier this morning. Still causing delays. All the northbound lanes are blocked between Gunn and Jackson Road. You will need to take another route. Uh, the belt line picking up on the westbound side. Brake lights from Stoughton Road to Monona Drive adding five minutes to your time. Heading inbound on John Nolan. Not looking too bad. Just a few slowdowns near Rimrock and then again at North Shore Drive. Other routes heading into the city are moving at the posted speeds, but some fog lingering in the area. Just make sure you have those headlights on throughout the commute. With your first alert traffic, I'm Josh Tim. Thank you, Josh. And ooh, it looks a little muggy <laughs> down by the lake this morning. The Edgewater Sky Cam showing you a pretty quiet start to the day today. Our temperatures, though, are going to climb. We have fog in the Platteville area and elsewhere across southern Wisconsin. Temps will be in the mid-80s this afternoon. Rain chances return later tonight. There's an outside chance this afternoon, but a better chance tonight for that heavy rain. And tonight, heavy rain, maybe as much as two yeah. to five inches? Yeah, and... more than a couple inches possible. Stay tuned to Channel 3000 for that. CBS This Morning is coming up next. Thanks for watching.